Once again, we are back with Sam, our Wasteland Wanderer, and he's less, more, yeah, uh, more than useless dog, dog meat, who is just doing dog meat things again. So we are going to visit Uncle Ken for somebody, for some reason, at the National Park Visitors, Visitors Centre, and, um, Nuka Cola in a VIM machine. <gasps> Blasphemy! Um, so, yeah, we've turned up. The um, fog machine seems to be working. So, there's a good chance that uh, he is supposed to be still alive. Lots of uh, body bits. But apparently, he likes his traps. I haven't seen any yet. But then again, I'm also not going to trigger any because. I have the skill that means that I don't. Oh, there they are. Out of those, thank you very much. Not really interested in those. That one looks to be busted, as does that one. Hmm. Tell you what, this guy's definitely not, um, not defenseless, is he? Come on in, old Ken. Where are you, matey? Tending to your garden. Hello, Uncle Ken. Go away! You see? You see those corpses? They're from me! Unless you're ready for the long walk. Go away! Your nephew's worried about you. He sent me. Mitch? My boy Mitch sent you? He was always a smart one. He sent me the fog condensers. Made it safe to breathe here. I hear gunfire. Glad I hear, hear he still cares shooting. About his old uncle. But you... What? What have you done? They're coming! Oh. They're coming! Come on, maybe I'll drop things on my keyboard. Uh, what's coming? What? What? What's going on? What? What's coming? Who knows this time? I haven't reset my traps or repaired the defense... Just, just, hold on, just how bloody tough is this guy? You know what? Wow, these guys. Whoa, ho, 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 hold on. <coughs> these guys got some serious armor. <coughs> How the hell did you get inside his house? Where's the other guy? Well, that could have gone better. These guys got some serious armor. Ooh. Ooh, now that's that's a nice piece of armor. Hello? Where are you? Hmm. Those guys messed me up pretty damn good. Mostly those harpoon guns, I think. Right, everybody looks like they're gone. 
Go on, Uncle Ken. How are you doing over here, old man? <coughs> Not bad. Mitch was a good boy to send. But still, time to go. Goodbye. Goodbye. Before you attract more of them. Mitch sent me to bring you home. Safely. Please, go to Far Harbor. Now, oh, Mitch worries too much. I'll be fine. Now go, show yourself out. Well, then, Uncle Ken. I will see you later. Bye bye, old man. Oh, don't we get out of the way? Oh, I can build here, can I? Oh, I can. I bet I can't build anything, though. I have machine gun turrets. Let me do you a favour, old man. That'll keep you safe. That'll keep you safe, old man. Don't worry about the raiders. So what you got in here that's worth nicking? This was like a nick a whole magazine rack, can I? I love your toy ship, though. Toy car, toy car, toy car. Thank you. Let me pick up the toy car. Oh, don't let me pick up the toy car. Fine, I won't have the toy car. I'll just nick everything else. I'm having you a teddy bear. Now what are you going to do at night on your own? Uh, Gino Donato, you're probably some strange weird old man and there's now lots of dead bodies around. Gets lonely out here on your own. Mm -hmm. Nothing of what? Where does that keep flashing up? Oh, tablespoon. Well, use only. Well, no. Screw you. Nothing worth having anything up here. Nope, nothing up here either. All right, dog. Let's go. But question is, where should we go? Let's go to the Echo Lake um, Lumber Yard. We've been here before, and uh, can't remember what happened last time. Oh no, there was nothing here. I just passed through here earlier last time because I was on my way to do another mission. Ah, uh, Radstorm. That's how to do my rads the world are good, isn't it? So, what am I looking for here? Ah, it's gone. Secure Echo Lake Lumberyard. Fairly sure that it is quite secure, because this was full of ghouls when I was here last time. And, um... Now there aren't any. Somebody killed them all. Now somebody, of course, being me. That's it. Yeah, standing around in this uh, lumber yard in a. Um, Radstorm's really not the best idea. There it is. Can't use this workshop until the fog is cleared. Ooh. How do I clear the fog? Fog condensers. Maybe I shouldn't be here yet. Is 
Let's see what I can find some uh, frog condensers just laying around in here. I've already looted most of it. Wait, was that a spoiler? Blimey, just how tough are you, mate? Ah, fuggles. Come down here. Come down here where I can shoot you. Hiding. Oh, hello, glowing one. I'm shooting him in the leg really good, aren't you? Well, that did nothing. Now secure. So does that mean that I can interact with the workbench? Hello. You got them. You got them shambles. All dead. <laughs> Fog's quiet. The land's mine again. For what you done, you can leave. Leave before I need to go a-hunting and kill. What? Who are you? My name? My name. It's Malcolm. Malcolm. I own this land. Fog came and I didn't leave. Started breathing it in deep. Made peace with it. <laughs> um, I think you're a little bit mental, mate. I was sent to claim the lumber mill for Far Harbor. This is my land. Keep the outsiders away. Or, ha, let them come. Send them to me. <laughs> Send all of them to me. And then I'll hunt them, salvage their gear, cut the meat, then toss the remains for the fog. What do you say? Got caps. Make it worth your while. I don't think so, mate. You're gonna eat them? Uh, belly gets awful empty in the fog. To me, their meat, your meat, all of us are. Hell no, mate. I won't be party to murder. <laughs> well, I got no use for you. Well, I have got use for you, and that's going to be shooting you in the head repeatedly with a gun. Okay. All right, steady on, dog. He's dead now. Alright then, where was the workbench? Um, that's just a genuine question. Where, where did I leave the workbench? Or where did I find the workbench? Um, well, it wasn't over here. Um, no. Oh, it was over here, wasn't it? I think. Is it? No, maybe. Oh, I don't bloody know. It's not in these buildings.
Why can't I just have a big neon sign above it that just says workbench here? This looks like it could be quite a big area once I get control of it. The old smashed up building. Right, no, no, seriously, where was the workbench? I bet I've just like walked past it three times. Right, let's see, came across this way. It's not in these because these are like little um, shops. Uh, it's not in there. It's not over here because there's nothing over here. I'm rest on my way past the bushes. Can't get into that building. Holy shit, I've got like a brain like a sieve today. I'm seriously going to spend like five minutes looking for something I already found once. Right, not in any of those. This is the entrance. This is going to be the border of the buildable area. If all of this is buildable. I would have thought the workshop would have been just like... laying around on the side of the building somewhere. Nope. Pretty sure it's not in here. I'm just I'm just gonna walk around in like circles for five minutes whilst I try and figure out where the bloody hell this stupid workshop is. There it is, hidden away in the corner. Right, still can't do it until the fog is cleared. So that kind of seems to me like a little bit of a spoiler. There's going to be some way of clearing fog. So that's going to be interesting. We're not going to go back to Far Harbour just yet then. What we are going to do though, is we're going to go back to the Nucleus. And see if we can do some of these other missions. Because really we need to kind of clear these missions off. Because I'm getting way too many missions. And I'm just not clearing enough of them quickly enough. In the end, we are all Adam's children. Yep, I'm sure we are. So in here, there should be, like, an absolute bucket load of quick. Get out of the way, dog. Dog, get out of the way. Ugh, get out of the bloody way, dog. Uh, I don't want to talk to you. Ah, okay, here we go. Here's one person. Excuse me. Yeah? I mean, glory to a Wait. You don't sound like you. you're, um... You happen to see Brother Devon, the sickly guy, praying off by himself. Yes, I just saw him. Sure, I saw Devon. Why do you ask? See, Brother Devon, he's been on a fast. A long one. No food. Only irradiated water. Waiting for a sign from Adam. Most folks would say that's real admirable. Giving yourself to Adam like that. What do you think? Hmm. Sounds nuts to me. Adam above. <laughs> Someone else. Look. Me and Devon, we're... We weren't born with Adam's blessing like everyone else around here. Rads, they hurt us. Now Devon thinks fasting and refusing meds till he dies is gonna get Adam to grant him some kind of revelation or something. 
I've tried talking to him. He won't listen to me anymore, and everyone else in this place thinks what he's doing is a brilliant idea. I... I know we don't know each other, but if you could convince him to quit, I'd owe you. Could give you some anti-rad meds I've cooked up. Recipe, too. Got some stuff in it that could come in handy, even for folks that don't mind rads. What do you say? Talk to him for me? Hmm, sounds interesting. Go on in. Okay, sure. I'll talk to him. Oh, thank you. Please, just do it quick, all right? He's starting to look bad. Come on in, Brother Devin. Oh. Let me convince you to give up your flask. Oh, or turn to just shoot you. From this spot, I... I... Is that you? Oh, holy... Oh. I, I'm sorry, brother. I thought you were... Never mind. Did you need something? You look pretty rough, mate. You're looking uh, a little bit Deadpool there. Have you just been sitting here? I think you need a new hobby. <laughs> I suppose I look a mess at this point. But I... I can't leave. Adam came to me. And I will follow his command. Adam came to you? What did you see? My saving grace. Jet has been my crutch for many years. One day, I was in the woods, polluting myself. When a figure strode from the sky before me, a verdant stag, wreathed in holy glow. It commanded me to return to the nucleus, and to leave behind my iniquities, and give myself fully to Adam. For my dedication, Adam would send another messenger, who would free me from my shackles once and for all. That, brother, is why I must wait. Hmm. Okay, let's see if I can convince him. Good news! I am Adam's messenger, and I have come to free you from your shackles. Hiya! There! <laughs> well, let's just keep this between us, okay? That's not funny. Now, please, if you don't have anything else. How do you know your vision of Adam's messenger wasn't just a hallucination brought on by the drugs? What if it was? Holy Adam spoke to me, promised to free me from my weakness. He gave me a task, and I will obey. When was the last time you used drugs? The day of my vision. Haven't moved from this spot since. So if you haven't used drugs since then, what makes you think you haven't already kicked the habit yourself? B because I am weak. But Adam, Adam is strong. When his messenger appears, I will finally know that I have done what I must to be free. Yeah, but sitting here endlessly? It's suicide. You may be right. But stopping now, going back to my old ways, that too would be suicide. Here, I have a chance. I have good news. I uh, am well be again. Here, and I have come to free you from your shackles. Hiya! There. Now, uh, <laughs> let's just keep this between us, okay? That's not funny. I guess I'll just G glory to Adam. Hmm. Okay. What can I do to boost my um my charisma? Which is actually, to be fair, quite high already. Um. Charisma boosting. Oh, day tripper. Hmm. Not sure that'd be a good idea. I think I left all my alcohol at home. And I'm not wasting an XL. A day tripper would not be the best idea. Okay, let me um let me see if I find some alcohol or something. I'm sure that boosts my charisma. These guys must have something alcoholic around here. Pardon me. Glory to Adam, brother. You must be the one Richter sent out to the spring. Don't appear you turned into a slobbering goon. So I'm guessing you had a favorable experience. What visions did Holy Adam bless you with? A woman. She guided me to a small shrine. The Grand Zealot said she was called the Mother of the Fog. Why? 
You saw the mother of... How did... I guess it's not our place to question the ways of Adam. If there is anything I or the other zealots can do to serve, all you need to do is ask. Adam ever grant you any vision? Sort of. My parents were settlers. Tried to carve out a life for us in the fog. Moved us all out there when I was just a girl. Made do for a couple years. Adam's Vale hadn't claimed the whole of the island back then. But then came the storm. A rad storm. Unlike anything the island had ever seen. Our little homestead didn't stand a chance. I was the only one to survive. Thanks to my blessing. Adam's blessing. I wandered for days. Living off whatever I could scrounge. Drinking puddles and salt water. Until I stumbled on a spring. THE spring. The vision I had. It felt like it lasted for days. I was back in the storm, but... I wasn't afraid. I was in control. When I finally came to, I was in Richter's arms. He carried me back here and raised me to serve Adam. So, you're a zealot? What is that exactly? We are defenders of Adam's faith, and guardians of the Nucleus. Most were mercenaries or trappers before they finally came to Adam. Though Richter, apparently, is actually a soldier of some rank in his old life, if the rumors are true. The Grand Zealot sent me. Tell me what you can about Sister Gwyneth. Very well, as I'm sure the Grand Zealot informed you. Gwyneth was once a devoted member of our order, though prone to strange... Was that necessary? She was well liked by many. The Grand Zealot in particular seemed to have a fondness for her. At least until she turned her back on Holy Adam. It was my duty to find her. But Gwyneth was always clever. I'm ashamed to admit that I failed. What caused Gwyneth to turn her back on Adam? I can only tell you what I saw. She was praying quietly. When she suddenly leapt up and began to shout that Adam is a lie. When Tectus confronted her, she struck him with such force that she knocked him to the ground. When she realized what she'd done, she fled. Tectus wanted us to send someone after her, make an example. But at the time, it was not his decision. Confessor Martin insisted we wait, hope for her return. Sadly, that never happened, and we gave her up for dead. That was the end of Gwyneth. Or so we thought. One of the Acolytes spied her at a holy site, but she escaped in the fog. It was not long after that the blasphemous messages appeared, and we knew it had to be her. I can tell Gwyneth was your friend. How do I know you didn't deliberately fail? I would never risk defying Adam's will. My faith is my life, and my devotion to Adam is absolute. <sighs> Despite your insults, it is my duty to help you in this matter, and so I will. You should begin by searching the holy sites. Perhaps you'll find some clue I missed. Very well. Then let's see what else have we got. Uh, that's the entrance to. If you're standing yep. here, I presume you've dealt with the heretic. Yep, working on it. I'm still working on it, Grand Zealot. Then I will let you return to your duty. Far Harbor will burn in its righteous light. What have we got over here? Caution, brother. Last child who tried to claim the secrets within roused the guardians of the base. So unless you've been tasked by the High Confessor, I'd steer clear of the command center. Don't fear, sister. Adam will shield me. I expect our fallen brethren thought the same. But if you wish to put your fate in Adam's hands, I will not stop you. May he watch over you. Alright. So this is the command center. So this is where we're going to counter the automated base defenses. And hopefully get uh, Demas' uh, memories Consider back. Consider yourself warned. 
So what I'll do is I'm going to end it here, and then we'll make a uh, attempt at this on the next video. I'd like to thank you for watching. Don't forget, like and subscribe, check out some of our other videos, and I will see you next time. Bye bye for now.